We can apologize, tell him to go to hell, or leave. I am going to tell him to go to hell. Everybody, welcome back. Falcon Rebuild 3, Gangs of Deadsville. So, have you caught the last episode, which I encourage you should do, because we finally were able to establish our own government. So, now that we've built our city hall and we've established our government, we have the next uh, part of the equation where we're just either ally or eliminate the other two factions. So, we're not sure how we're going to go about that just yet. We've already kind of pissed off the hippies a little bit. And with the pig farmers slash cannibals, we've been kind of on the upswing with them, oddly enough, even though they're feeding us human meat and we seem to be perfectly okay with it. Um, so we have to figure out how we're going to go about that. But for now, we have bigger fish to fry here, which is obviously the fact that, uh, number one, we have a level up here with Lucy Goosey. So, so let's hear about uh, Lucy Goosey's story here. We already read that last uh, time, so let's see the second part. The apocalypse has been hard on me. I was holding an online video concert when the undead made their first serious attack. Before I knew what was going on, my viewer count started dropping like a stone into it hovered into the double digits. I persevered for my remaining loyal fans, but it was to, uh, touch and go. Lucy can now get a new perk. What should it be? So we could either go with eccentric here. Lucy is our builder, right? So Lucy could do, um, make both friends and enemies easily. Okay. Redecorator makes uh, may automatically convert uses buildings. I like that one on Harriet, by the way. And then Defense Expert grants plus one defense to all buildings. Ooh. I'm going to go with Defense Expert because we already have Harriet with Redecorator anyway. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we have that going on, let's see here. Now, we still have this um, dangerous mob Zed that's... Uh, this is like the really big one, right? This is the zombie mob. The really big one, he says. <laughs> Without trying to laugh, which he apparently failed. Uh, let's see, over here you're learning how to research still. I want to get you up to level 4. You're still researching and then you're over here researching. You're done and you guys are done. So let me have you come over here and guard against this uh, impending attack. And since you are done over here, we have 9 materials now. Let's see, what else do I want to capture with you? I set the warehouse, right? So I think in the warehouse, just so we could get more food stored up. So you come over here and... Oh, you have to kill a zombie again? God fucking damn it, alright? So kill that zombie and then do your thing. Now, in terms of preaching here, you're not doing a really good job now, are you? Look at this shit. 0.3 per day. What if I sent you over to the bar to bartend instead? Will that give us better um, happiness? We'll see. Let's go forward. Alright, here we come. No sweat. Did you know the set can't swim? On a related note, we've got a swimming pool we needed to empty now. <laughs> so, we were able to take care of that rather easily, so I'm not too surprised right there. How is our happiness now? Still not as great as I'd like it to be. So... You're at level 3 now, Pixie. So Pixie, let's see, um, once you're at level 4, I'm going to probably have you either preach as well or do some bartending, one or the other. I think I'm going to need you up and running soon and get our happiness going up because I'm not too happy with it going down. Our food is still on the upswing relatively well. You're fighting zombies, you're scavenging, you're scavenging, you're farming. And then you guys are just emptied out now because you defend against that attack. So, what do we do now? Let's see here. Well... Let's check. I don't think we read this out, did we? Um, there are two other factions out there who'd be more dangerous than an entire horde of undead if they turn on us. We need to know if we can trust them or we need to get rid of them. If we can make the Luddies respect us enough via good deeds and generous trade deals, we can send someone to meet with Ludd and propose an alliance. Or we could send soldiers to attack them. A preemptive strike, of course, then tear down every one of their walls and force them out of Seattle. So, <laughs> That's probably more than likely what we will do against the Luddies, just because they already kind of hate us because of our technological advances that they don't really necessarily agree with. So I'm considering we probably will do that after all. But meanwhile, let's see here. We have a few people just idling by, which I'm not too crazy about. Let's see, what else have we... What else do we need to actually expand on? Did we actually ever clear this out? We did. We could go in there and look for those cigars now. Hmm... One second, what about here? What's going on? Oh, zombies here, and then there's zombies here. Okay, so let's do a few missions over here and clear these zombies out. Five zombies. Ashley should be able to take care of that rather easily. Then over here we have 23 zombies. So we're going to send Oisha and Latifa after that one, just because 23 is a really big number. No big deal there. And then on this park, we haven't even scouted yet. So let's send a scout over here, and we will do Andrea Anderson. Scout that area out, and then we have an apartment complex which has a few zombies in it. Farm hasn't been scouted yet, and then apartment has been scouted. This is where the cigars are, should be at, and then we have a trailer park which hasn't been scouted, so I guess we'll do that one next. Timothy, you go check that one out. Alright, everybody has a job, everybody's doing something, let's go forward. 
Luddies are just moving around over here. Pay them no attention. We found some materials, which is with you. Perfect. Keep going forward. Spotted some food and found some materials. So you're still scavenging. Excellent. And then we spotted some food somewhere over there. Huge farm is available to us, and we'll probably go after that one next. I'm thinking we probably try to take over this trailer park, and then we'll probably come over here and... Oh, no. Actually, we have to go through this side, huh? I'm thinking we reclaim this area, and then this area, and then we'll try to reclaim the suburb here, just for the cigars, possibly. But we have a level up, meanwhile, which is with uh, Joshua Note, or Joshua Note. I guess I'm, I'm making it a little bit more exotic than it really should be. I'm getting closer with Joshua Note. Today he told me, nods, how do? Me? Doing fine. Fine. Miss my pig, though. Weren't never a finer poker than old Bessie Sue. I'm not sure why he talks that way now, but apparently he does. Yep, I were a pig farmer. Nothing as big as them bucket boys, of course. They had one of the biggest pig farms on the west coast. I was just a small town farmer, but let me tell you, my pigs won best of show five seasons running at the annual harvest festival at Hootenanny. What other farmers can say that? What pricks should cha uh, Joshua get? Obviously he's an animal lover. He is a scout, right? Green Thumb would give us bonus food while farming, which is what he's doing. Hoarder, extra building materials when scavenging. Let me just give him Green Thumb since he is kind of uh, our permanent farmer anyway. So that's going to increase us up to 9.8 per day. Weren't we doing like 9.5 before? So that really didn't do much. Oh, our happiness is actually going up now because we're serving alcohol apparently. <laughs> All good. All right, so everybody is has a... Timothy needs something to do now. All right, Tim. Timo. Timon and Pumbaa. You, there's this office over here you can kind of clear out. And this trailer park as well. Come to the trailer park and clear that out just in case. Let's go forward. And we found some food, and oh, Gustav's special stock. Jesus, a lot of shit happened here in the background. Gustav and his sister Vera stopped by to give us a message. They've been doing so well, thanks to all the business we've been giving them, that they've been able to stock up with a bunch of special gear. They're giving us first crack at it too. Maybe this means I'll finally be able to get that zombie killer 3000 I always wanted. Ooh. Stop for a second. So, um, how does that happen? Where, where is he? Oh, he's over there. Oh, motherfucker, how do you come over here and tell me and then leave? You stay over here, I want to see that stock, my friend. Happiness is going up, and food is, yeah, going up. So we're doing good. We need to actually reclaim that warehouse soon, because we're about to cap out. So let's see here. Uh, found food. Zombies killed, zombies killed, and scouted. Okay. Where is Harriet? She's just kind of idling by, huh? Harriet, you have to reclaim this warehouse fast. No zombies left? Oh, shit, I can't because I have to go here and then here. God damn it. I guess I could do the uh, gas station first. Um, I guess the gas station wouldn't be too bad because we could scavenge it and just tear it down and build something more useful there afterwards. However, it's going to cost us materials, which we're kind of low on, honestly. So maybe we just go to the trailer park instead, and then there will be a few more places to actually keep more survivors in as well, right? So you come over here and kill the two zombies there. And let's see here. No zombies here. Some at the office, so let's send you to this office and kill them off right there. You hold off. You are done with your scavenging, apparently. Anywhere else you could scavenge, meanwhile? Yeah, over here. But Isabel's already doing that, so no point in doing that. Farm. Huge farm. Zombies here, though. Nothing here. This hasn't been scouted out just yet. So you know what? Come and do the scouting over here. Don't kill zombies, just scout. Everybody has a task, well, except for you. You're waiting for the zombies to clear out so you can come in and do some rebuilding there. Which is good. Let's go forward. Dangerous Matt Zed, and we found some more materials up here, which is good. Alrighty, so my fighters need to finish up what they're doing. Otherwise, we're going to be in trouble really soon. Here comes Gustav, and here's this uh, zombie mob over here. I'm going to send my fighters to just meet them on head-on. We have Timothy and Sarah Hunter. Sarah Hunter is not fixed for this battle, by the way, so... Sarah Hunter, let me remove you from that. And let's see. Fighters, fighters, fighters. We have... Hmm. Let me send you up here to give him a hand. You two should be okay with that. No problem there. Gustav is getting nearby so we could do a trade. You scouted that area out already, I think. Uh, you're still scouting. And then we have park. Apartment. Hmm. Is this part of their perimeter? No, not quite. This is still outside. This office building is still outside. You did scavenge the hospital, right? You did. So let me have you come over here and... Oh, you can't scavenge there either, huh? Just uh, scavenge over here then. Now, you know what? Hmm. 
What if you scavenge over here instead? I should probably get this drive in. This whole area over here just basically under our control. I mean, I don't think any of this, like the pawn shop or the drive in, is going to be really useful. So we can just break it down and make some more better buildings out of it. Um, level 4 leadership. Okay, so you're leveling up quite well. You're level 4 and you're almost done with your research. Nope, not quite. You're almost done, though. Are you really a level 7 builder? Holy shit. Alrighty, you're leveling up quite fast over here, so... Maybe at level 8 I'll get her out of there and have her start reclaiming buildings, especially these little buildings over here. Everybody else seems to have something going on. Good, let's go forward. Foreign relations. I was summoned to meet with Lud this week at Luddite Ford. The mood was tense. They're offended that we officially formed a new government for Seattle without consulting them first. Lud warned me that they're taking over recent political actions as an aggressive move against them. The Luddies have no intentions to live under our, your new laws, he told me, and if you continue to lay false claims to the city, we may be forced to go to war. We can apologize, tell them to go to hell, or leave. I am going to tell them to go to hell. This made Lud spitting mad and it's intended. It sure made me and the rest of the fort feel good, though. We don't need those guys. Perfect. So... We have just about done everything to piss them off at this point. We told them to fuck off when they told us to stop doing our fertilizing stuff, and now we told them to fuck off when they told us to stop being our government. So, yeah, we are definitely in the outs with them. That's okay. Again, I was looking at war with them anyway, so not a big deal for me. Now, let's see here. Everybody still has a task. It does seem that way. Let's keep going forward then. And we're done with the zombies over here and done with scouting this area. So you come and give him a hand over here. Um, you're done with the scouting. And the zombies are freed up over here, so you come and reclaim this area, or... Oh, fuck, I can't. I have to go through the gas station first, I said, or the trailer park. Alright, so do trailer park first. We will reclaim this area first and foremost, and then it's going to take you how long? One day. That's actually really good. So for now, our food supply is going to actually go down. Or not go down, but we're going to cap at 150. I can remove my farmers right now and have them do something else, but it's really no... I don't see... I don't really see the point of min-maxing that out right now, so... Screw that. Uh, gas station has a few items that we could kind of um, scavenge for, so you know what? Come over here and scavenge for those items, and then everybody else has something to do. Go forward. Zombies have been killed over here. Excellent. So, bar is now freed up. We have another survivor here. How many survivors? One more, huh? We'll probably go after this dude next, I want to say, with um, Hefe. Pretty soon, because we have room for it, plus we're going to get this trailer park really soon as well. Um, speaking of which, we have a level up by Kara McCoy. Let's find out what her story goes to now. At my last performance, there was a commotion in the back of the audience, and before I knew it, what was happening, the crowd began to feed on itself. I'm lucky we had such a lousy seamstress and wardrobe that they might have gotten me and not the four feet of Crinol and I left behind. I always wanted to inspire an audience to tear out of my clothes, but not like this. Kara's really for... Kara's ready for a new perk. Which one? We could do Musician, we could do Negotiator or Hoarder. She is a scout, right? So Musician would do bonus happiness to others during missions? Nah. Negotiator, occasional bonus while trading, nah. Hoarder, that's the one. Okay, good. So we have that under control now. Uh, we have one person idle over here, level 7. Oh, you're at level 5 now from researching, good. And we're about to finish up one of our researches, by the way, which is good. Um, Let's see here, you, my friend, or my friends, apparently. You guys could upgrade too, huh? How long would it take you to guys to upgrade? Like, if I don't want you to fight, like anything at all fuck is this? Chop wood? Builders make better lumberjacks. Holy shit. We could actually make our own materials. I wasn't aware of that. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, well, you know what? If that's the case, come over here and, yeah, chop some wood. Why not? How long is that going to take you? Ah, that's forever, so... You know what? I'll just use my builder for that. Over here... We could build a tower. How long would this take with just the two of you guys? Five days. Oh, that's a long time. That's really shitty, so never mind. I'll wait for my builders to do that. Let's see here. What can we do with you guys meanwhile? I guess this office building could be cleared out. Let's come over here and clear that out. Apartment is emptied out. Bar is emptied out. Office is still there, huh? Okay, so let's move you here. Kill those zombies and you kill those right there. Everybody has something to do. Go forward. Research bunker towers. We can now add a bunker to any building inside our fort. These replace our old watchtowers with a more fortified structure that should help us better fend off zombie attacks. Really good, so stop, and let's go see our research now. Which is what we got, which is, um, bunker towers. Now, we're going to be going into war really soon, so we might 
want to spotting spies. This could be pretty useful, especially if we have some people that don't necessarily agree with our government and they want to, you know, turn code to go to the other faction. So I'll probably go with this afterwards, but we need to finish improved scouting for that first. Um, let's see. I guess we could go improve walls, advanced construction, build and fortify 20. Oh, build and fortify 25% faster. Let's do that one. Advanced construction it is. So you, my friend, will go into... What am I looking for here? Edit mission. Improve walls. Uh, zombie vitals. Advanced construction. There we go. So we'll be able to fortify and build stuff a bit faster. Malcolm, you work on that one. Perfect. Everybody else has a job. Correct. Dude, the micromanaging is getting really intense now because you have so many survivors now. So it's like, you know, who's doing something? Who's not doing anything? Found some more materials and zombies killed. Let's get some of this stuff out of the screen here. And we have two people freed up now. Um, okay. My scout is free. And then you're free as well. As soon as we get that, we have to go to the warehouse after. Are you almost done over here? Under a day left. Okay. So meanwhile, you come over here and just, you know... <sighs> really no point in farming because um, <laughs> we're capped out. Alrighty, let's send you and have you scout pretty far out. How about that? Let's start getting a, a bit of this map kind of cleared up for us. So let's go over here and... No, no scavenge there. I want you to just scout this area out. By yourself. What do you mean one survivor? God damn it. Nope, stop. You come over here and just scout. Okay. And let's see, we have one more person freed up. This has been already scouted. The small hasn't been scouted. That's part of the, um... Or at least, didn't it used to be part of the, um, Luddy? So let's go over here and scout this area out. We're gonna go into war with them anyway, so we might as well just start getting their perimeter under check. This is as far as it seems to go, though, so they don't really have that big of an area unless it goes down a bit more. So we gotta keep that into consideration. Let's go forward here. Here comes Pick Farmers, and there goes Gustav. By the way, Gustav has a few items for us, right? So, this motherfucker, he's so far from us, though, is the problem. Can I get over there and be safe? <clears throat> Five days left. Yeah, sure. Let's send El Presidente there. It's going to bring our happiness down meanwhile, but I think that's a big concern right now. Lucy Goosey, at level 8, you're out of here. So, 7.1. <clears throat> and you are... Well, you're researching, so never mind. Leadership, level 4, level 4.2. At 5, you're out of here. So, level 8 and 5, you guys are out of here. Speaking of which, Barbara Ireland has a level up here. So, let's go see what her story is all about. I was working in Vegas when I got a call that this guy near Seattle who had a real-life zombie on his hands, I normally wouldn't even bother with this kind of thing, but you know, his TwitTube video of the walking corpse was convincing. I took a couple of days and drove to the guy's house. He took me into his basement to show me the thing he'd got chained up there. He's so excited while he talked that he didn't realize how close he was to his pet until it lunged and bit him. Barbara can now get a new perk, what should it be? Born leader would give us plus theater leadership skill. Mm, first day would reduce chance of death on missions, and then MacGyver. Half of engineering skill added to defense. That's actually pretty good, so we'll do that. Okay. And is that about it? Anybody else any skills here? Nope. Let's go forward. Found some fuel. Kill some zombies. Trailer park has now been reclaimed, so we have a little bit more extra room to house some people, which is good. But now that we've done that, the important thing is getting this warehouse under control. Oh god, this fucking zombie again. Alright, you will just go and... Take some time off, because you like to take time off on occasion, so before you give up on us, let me have you do that. You guys come over here and just, you know, fight these zombies already. Get them out of the way. You're resting, and let's see here. You're learning a building. Alright, so everything's fine. Go forward a bit more. You're done with those zombies now. Trading with Gustav. Gustav was in a somber mood when I met him on the caravan. Greetings, friend. Too much mertis. Too many walking dead men in Seattle today. So, let's see if he needs anything. Yes, he needs medicine. Uh, he will pay me double. We only have three, so we're not going to be able to do that this time around. Let's trade. Now, last time we talked to him, he said he had some exotic goods for us, right? Let's see if that's really true or if he was full of shit here. Holy shit! I'm not going to give it a super haggle because I might actually ruin that. So you know what? This is our time to actually load up on a lot of stuff here. I guess that's because our respect with him is pretty high, maybe. Okay, so here's what we do. We load up on good stuff here. We have nine fuel. He has no medicine. I would have loved to gotten some medicine off of him. Binoculars could be pretty good for our scouts, obviously. It's only three as well, so we might as well pick that up for three. Saw is four, you might as well pick that up as well. We're going to be going into war really soon, so... I'm thinking another shotgun could be a value, and... 
Boomerang could be useful as well, but let's see how much this costs. Four, huh? You know what? Sure, let's grab one boomerang and one shotgun. Why I'm doing that, I'm not really sure, but I'm gonna do it. Now, actually, wait, you know what? Fuck the boomerang. I wanna get some of ammunition, actually. We have 20, but again, if we're gonna be going into war, we're gonna need quite a few of it, so let's do... Materials? Um, we'll take all of his materials as well. So all of his materials, all of his ammunition, saw, binoculars, shotgun, 30 value, I think it's really good. We don't need any food. Fuel, I guess we could. Used to fuel cars in special buildings during events. Um... How much would fuel cost me, my friend? One is gonna be one? Oh, really? Okay. So, let's do... You know what? Let's do nine food. 43? And you know what? Let's give him 43 in food. Oh, dude, that's so great. I'm loving our food intake because it's good. Let's, it allows us to do this. I could even buy those boomerangs if I really wanted to. You know what? I probably will. Let me get one boomerang. And what I will do is give you 47 food. Okay, so 47 food for all of this. I love it. Trade? I eventually came to a deal with Gustav's group that seemed to suit us both well enough. I think we could have gotten more out of them, but this way everybody's happy. Oh, dude, we got a lot of shit. Stop here for a second. Yeah, our foods, you know, obviously gave a lot of food, but we're getting like almost 10 per day. So, believe me, we'll make that back up, obviously, like in four days. So, <laughs> we're fine. That was really good. We have a lot of building potentials, we have a lot of ammunitions, we have more weapons, which is we're going to be used to go into war with the Luddies anyway. So let's call an episode here today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any tips, please be, be sure to leave them. They're always really appreciative. Other than that, leave your thumbs up, leave your like. The support does mean a lot. Other than that, I will catch you next time.